Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpentex Special Forces, and it's time for our monthly build series where we build out a GPU mining rig, a six GPU mining rig, and go over you know what might be the current profitability and break-even points in the current market conditions. Because we all know it's been absolutely a uh, S show for most of us in trying to get new GPUs. So what about getting classic or older gen GPUs? Even those have gone up in price. So what's a good mid range or mid area to find? And what I did is I picked for this month, the 2070. Now you can be like, yeah, 2070 super is better, yada, 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 I understand that. But we're just gonna choose the 2070 for this time, hear me out, and then we'll go over the profitability more towards the end of the video. But here are the specs for this month's build. You can probably find a 2070 uh, for a decent price. And when I say a decent price, obviously it's gonna be above MSRP. But what I calculated was around $625 per GPU. If you can find one local, uh, closer towards MSRP or even lower, I would say go for it. But if you got six of these GPUs at $625 a pop, that will bring us up to $3750 right there for hardware. Now this GPU does have a t stock TDP of $175, and you always wanna take that into account when picking your power supply. Uh, the build out, which I'll have everything linked down in the description, is as follows. So we got the Intel Celeron G5920 CPU. The prices are down with the with the newer gen Intel CPUs. Uh, we got down to $60 or around $61, where in the previous month, the latter generation was you know upwards of $100. So Intel Celeron 5920G will get the, jo the job done. Uh, we're going to cool that with some generic stock cooler, so to speak. Um, with the Ort Arctic Alpine 12, I can't talk today. And then the motherboard that I chose here is one that I, cho I, I, specific I chose previously. God, I can't talk today. Um, <laughs> and of course, it's a micro ATX board, which we're going to have to utilize a splitter of some type, which I already have selected and we, used about we talked about it many of times, uh, that allows you to take a one by slot and split it into four USB. Now, we're only connecting six GPUs on this. Uh, so... It's not going to be too crazy, but um, as I mentioned before, in case you get one of these DOA, you might want to grab two. All the pricing and information is going to be down in the description if you want to go ahead and check it out. The links down below are affiliate links and do help support the channel, so I greatly appreciate that. Uh, for memory, we went with the Patriot 8 gigabyte, 2 by 4 sticks, um, 4 gigabyte sticks, 2400 speeds, uh, latency of 16. The tried and true SSD, is, uh, because of the best price to performance slash budget option, is the ADATA SU 6335, uh, which is actually running in my systems now. It's a 240 gigabyte drive. I always recommend getting 240 or higher for your mining rigs. That's only around $32. Uh, obviously, this is just a placeholder right here, the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 30, uh, 2070 8 gigabyte. Just a placeholder for the pricing. And then if you want an ATX power supply, you technically could go with something like this, right? So if each card, and let's go ahead and bust out the calculator real quick. If each card was uh, stock TDP is 175 times six, that's 1,050 watts. But when you tune it, you're gonna be much lower than that. So this power supply could get the job done. The only thing that you're gonna be concerned about with an ATX power supply is do you have enough PCIe cables Remember, if you if you haven't checked out my video on how to power your mining rig, that each strand, even if you have you know two six plus two pin connectors or even four on one strand, that one strand can only handle so much power. So make sure to check out that video if you haven't familiarized yourself with it of what each strand is capable of. Um, especially because you we're going to get splitters. The splitters are going to be included with the pricing where you can take a six pin and split it out to dual eight pin. Uh, then moving on. I just put fans in here just because I could select them uh, because most of the mining frames that are for six GPUs only can fit five 120 millimeter fans. So total cost right now is at 4273, but there's other things that I want you to consider. Alternatively for a power supply, instead of getting the Seasonic one, Parallel Miner is actually working with me. And if you check out a power supply kit, one of their power supply kits, and use coupon code SERPENTX, you can get 10% off the purchase. And you can see that the pricing is a lot less than what Seasonic's current rating is, right? You spend upwards or close to you know, $250 to $300 when you can get an ATX power supply, especially one similar to what I have with the ZZX uh, 
ZSX breakout board, this one right here, which can not only power your motherboard, but your GPUs, handle your fan management, all of it, all in one thing. The only concern is, is if you're on a 110 volt, you're not gonna get all 1200 watts out of the power supply. You're gonna be around 750 watts. Um, so you gotta be on 220 or 240 volt. So bear in mind what your electrical setup is for everything and kind of go from there. Uh, moving on, here's the frame that we selected. My apologies, that was a spam caller. Uh, can't get enough of those guys these days. So this is just a basic GPU frame. However, as I mentioned many times before, you can always go out to Home Depot Lowe's, get some angle iron, build your own frame with some angle iron wood or all angle iron, whatever you want. You just need a frame. You could even take a large case, uh, mid tower case, turn it on its side, and use you know create your own contrap, uh, you know device to hold the GPUs up, which I did in the past with my Cooler Master case. So you can save money there. Here's another option. So 56 or 59, you could be looking around 60 bucks if you want it already, uh, you know, kind of in a box ready for you to assemble. Um, links down below, splitters as well. I do have a number of splitters. You can also additionally get splitters from Parallel Miner. Uh, they got all kinds of goodies here. Feel free to check that out. And wow, man, you're selling that 3080 for $1,800. Mm, I'm going to have to talk to you guys about that. It's a little bit high, but hey, that's, you know, the market's the market. Can't do anything about it. Anyways, um, they got a nice PDU as well here. They got all kinds of goodies, cables, uh, power supply kits, the whole nine yards. But if not, Amazon splitters work and also risers. Now, I would recommend GP risers. The quality of their risers are, in my opinion, better if you know, if you make sure that you're properly, you know, connected and everything's secured and, and don't leave anything loose. Um, they're really good quality risers. However, you can get a cheaper pack. The U-Bit six pack will get the job done. And it does come with the six pin. I always like to connect everything with the six pin power, not Molex or SATA. But as G uh, Gamers Nexus, Steve and the team, Patrick and them proved, uh, technically you could, you could run some GPUs on SATA. It just depends on how much power it's drawing from that riser. If it's not getting the power it needs from the supplemental power, eight pin, six pin, whatever it may be. Moving on, let's talk profits. All right, so the 2070, six of them mining away will net you around $13, uh, anywhere from 12 to $13. And then obviously with electricity being taken out, it depends on your location, how much you pay per kilowatt hour. I pay around 10 cent per kilowatt hour, 12 in some areas around here, which is really high, but some people get five, six, eight. So good luck to those. Now, if we wanted to base out what or figure out what is the profitability and break even, well, the break even for mining Ethereum right now, which is not always going to be this way, right? We got EIP 1559 on the horizon coming next month in August. Then we might have, uh, and I, I still think we got plenty of time before E 2.0 really gets released and, and proof of work chain gets shut down. So you got plenty of time to still gather ETH. The profitability may go down, uh, but you're looking about uh, 412 days to break even at time of filming if you were mining Ethereum, averaging, like I said, anywhere from uh, 13, uh, to 12, 13 to 11 dollars a day. Now, if we switch to Raven Coin, um, and you don't focus on the U.S. dollar version, you can be focusing on how much Raven you accumulate a day. That's 232 with the 2070s. You could probably get a little bit more, get close to 240, 242 uh, with some fine tuning and save power. Uh, but your break even is about 466 days. And then with Conflux, your break even is about 545 days. Obviously, that varies depending on the market and how uh, profitable, because profitability is not a static thing. It can go up and down based on the market and what's going on. And at time of filming, Bitcoin is still moving sideways, if not dipping down, as well as Ethereum and others. However, it is still profitable to mine. And if you were to build a mining rig right now, you may not choose the 2070, but if you look for previous generation GPUs, um, at least something with eight gigabytes or more, you could still get in the game fairly cheap, especially if you search local. Don't just search online for convenience, search local to help you guys out. But that's pretty much the information that I have for you today. Don't forget to check out the description down below for all the links, the system build, all that stuff on PC part picker. Um, and do me a favor. On the way out, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, as well as check out additional links like the dogelord.com down below, where you can get a shirt such as this from the Savage Mind Collection or the Serpent X Collection or Red Panda. 
many of the content creators that we know and uh, respect here in the community are on dogelord.com. You guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.